ancient books and very protected books that were in the um, high clerics library. So, um, although you, you also suspect there may be more books that are in existence that you didn't get to read. So, um, and Gronk particularly enjoyed the illustrations. <laughs> although he only, although he only buys it for the articles. Um, <laughs> <That's right. laughs> Did so, you want to, sorry, ping us, John? Oh, sure. Sure. Just... Yeah, that'll be better for um, Chris's filming. And, and thank you, Chris. As always. <clears throat> and I was going to say thank you, Chris, because I, it was good to be, when I was away, I could kind of figure out what was going on. It was nice to be able to just listen to those. Yeah. And, and I, uh, I know exactly what everyone said about me. So yes, ex exactly what Matt did to your character. Yes, exactly. <laughs> exactly <laughs> all the all the critical twenties I rolled while I was you, but not actually Gronk. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so it's starting to get late. It's kind of starting to get around um, Betty by time. And Brother Cadfell seems to want to close up the library. He says, "You you you boys have a big day ahead. You probably want to rest up." And uh, Rascal Foot is with Velvaro, I guess, still at the pub. That's how we prep. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Read. Read deep. Yep. Oh, that's right. And Father Friar Time rather had talked with Father um, Rethelon, who um, kind of acts as a personal secretary. He's also a halfling, and he acts as a secretary to the high cleric. So he kind of knows the high cleric's um, routine and how the high cleric, he often, um, I would say disguises himself, but dresses in street clothes and you know, he likes to mingle among the average folk. Drive his own car. That, that kind of thing, yeah. So I didn't know if you, um, the people <clears throat> in, at, the, at the Vatican there have any questions before you bed down for the night or anything further you want to ask? I don't believe so. Was there also a, a, a Sir Piaro? Yes. That was Those were the, the, book. uh, the books. Yes, exactly. The books, the other books. That, yeah, okay. He was kind of a Renaissance man, right? Okay. Uh, perhaps the Renaissance man. The Renaissance, okay. Because as you look through the books, you notice, you know, they kind of ranged on many topics, mostly artistic, but there were, you know, a lot of drawings, um, some mechanical things, you know, very, okay. um, Revolutionary items, things you've never seen before. Okay. Okay. Right. I, I, I'm I'm reading his biography uh, by Walter Isaacson. Okay. Sir Piero. Now I'm going over to Amazon. <laughs> he got this pug for Valentine's Day that says, "You know, I like I like big pugs instead of I like big butts." <laughs> you know, it's. It's it's pretty high humor. <laughs> it can't be that high. Pugs are short. Yeah, there is that too. Yep. I have a pug. <laughs> well, he's a jug. He's a pug and a Jack Russell. Yeah, I just saw the book that you're reading, um, <laughs> Earl. I'll have to see if it's at the library or not. I'm sure you can find it. <clears throat> Yeah, they, uh, it's, it's just it's it's just funny because I just finished a different book on him not too long ago. Ah, okay. From the library, I I, I didn't buy it, but in any event, so huh. back back to the real world here, sorta. So, any other things you want to inquire about before you um, bed down for the night? No, I can't think of any. Fire time or Albion or Tolan? I'm You're going to have a hard time pulling Tolan away from the library. Yes. Uh, yeah. <laughs> we'll just leave him there. Now, as long as he's found some information about the lighthouse, that's good. Yeah, and it, like I said, it was an old lighthouse, but it's long since fallen into ruins. So nobody really goes out there. Um, you do know it's a place where sometimes bad... Um, you know, it's rumored some bad dealings go on, some criminal dealings, or perhaps pirates occasionally land there. Oh, 
our okay. um, Vel- so I was going to say our Velvaro and I are we able to get in and stay the night with these guys or are oh, we yes. kind of okay? Yes. Should I bring you guys home? Anything else you need to do at the pub or all along the way? What do you think, Velvaro? Uh, we should have had that guy followed, unfortunately. <clears throat> but uh, uh, retiring, perhaps for the evening, would be best. Mm-hmm. But I must stay at a different place. Oh, you can't stay at the Vatican? No, I told these fine fellows I'd be staying at an inn they recommended. That's where they would reach me. Oh, right. Well, maybe, maybe I'll, maybe we, uh, I'll stay with you. And then, um, then that way, you know, not that you would get into any trouble, but... I feel that those that fellow at least was involved in the ransom oh. or the kidnapping. Oh. Okay. But um yeah, I'm gonna go to the inn with Rascal Foot that um the uh what was his name? El Mahim. El Mahim that he recommended where he said he would send word to me. So I'll have to play that part and stay there if there's room. Okay. So there is room at the inn. <laughs> And this fine gentleman shows you to the, some rooms. Um, it's it's a mid level place. <laughs> uh, not, not this isn't the Hilton, uh, but it, but it's also not the, the sewer. <laughs> Tavaro slept on the ground beneath the stars. This will do just fine. Okay, so you um. Spend a quiet evening there, and no one comes for for you. Although in the middle of the night, you think you hear something at your at your window. Ooh. Whose window? Your window in the hotel. Okay. I leap up with and grab Eld. Mm-hmm. Who is entreating entrance at my window? <laughs> Nevermore. <laughs> In Strode, the Raven of Steakley. And Claymore. And Claymore goes, What? (laughs) (laughs) No one answers you. You just like a tap or a rap or something, you think. Is the shutters barred, I guess? And I would have to open them to see. You can open them if you'd like. Okay. I'll deal with Eld. Like, um, use that. So I'm this way. I'm still ready. Mm-hmm. So I'll take, and then I'll okay. open it. You throw open the door and you see a large black bird. He <laughs> sees you and he, you know, but then flies away after he, you know, and after he's looked at you for a second. In fact, as he flies away, you think you see several others join him. You know, that they may have been perched nearby in the alley or, you know, or in other buildings. Well, that's ominous, I say to myself. It's a conspiracy. (laughs) It's a murder afoot. (laughs) Murder a wing. (laughs) (laughs) All right, then. Is there anything left on the... Other than droppings, (laughs) is there anything left on the ledge? No. (laughs) Okay. All right, I'll shut the window and bar the window. Hmm. Mm Mm-hmm. So other than that, the night passes uneventfully, and no one comes for you. Was someone supposed to come for him? Well, I was just waiting. For, they were supposed to send me a message. I don't know if they if it was supposed to be tonight or anything like that. I just know that they said they sent word there because they had something to do last night. Oh, okay. I think, yeah. And aren't we supposed to go to the old watchtower at midnight for the exchange? Yep, uh, n- okay. the next night. The this next coming night. night. Okay. Yep. Yeah. yeah, so we have a full night and then a full day, and then we go. But you'll you'll need some time to get out there. Yes. So you'll probably have to leave sometime in the morning, or late okay. morning, late morning lunchtime. Right after 11, says. Yes. Civilized time. <laughs> mm-hmm. Yeah. I think hobbits have 11, says, don't they? Oh, easily. <laughs> oh, of course. 
And 11 15s, even. And probably tens is. And... Yeah, I'm really surprised that Claymore is staying out at an inn when he could sit at a halfling temple where they are going to serve all of the meals. Well, you know, this is this is a change that has come over him. Um, <laughs> you know, to he he's worked so long on his own. He's he's sort of glad to be part of a group, and and you know, he again, there's this strange sort of you know uh, hero worship of Velvaro, and and he he's kind of he's not sure whether really Velvaro can handle himself all <laughs> along. He doesn't say that to him, but. You know, he, he needs to have a sensible hobbit along with him. <laughs> well, that's why I've been with him so long. Yes. You know, and you're not here and you're with, you know, you're looking after those guys. I'll look after this guy. You know, it, it, it's, it is it's, so good. We have two hobbits in the group now. We can, oh. can take care of the group when they split up. Yeah. It's yeah, like babysitters. <laughs> <laughs> Humans. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'll meet up with the others in in the morrow. Okay. Okay. And I explained to them I have something interesting happened last night. Uh, while I nodded, like nearly napping, suddenly there came a tapping <laughs> as if someone gently rapping. I mean, rapping at my chamber window. From out on the ledge, there came such clatter. <laughs> so I opened the window and there was a raven regarding me and then it flew away with joined by um, more ravens and they flew off into the distance don't know what to make of it is there, is there any chance that rascal foot maybe drew a picture of this raven or something in his new journal and his special mag his special fountain pen that he got uh, yes uh, no because uh, he was kind of he looks, yeah, very sheepish. He says, uh, Deep yeah, sleeping. I was, I was, yeah. I mean, I, I've been really busy the last few days, so I was tuckered out. So, oh, yeah, sorry about okay. that. No, no, it's okay. And Brother Cadfell asks, he said, what, what did, could the beaks have been like a yellow or an orange? I assume he's joining you for the, for the breakfast. Uh, I, don't, I would have to roll to remember. <laughs> okay, <laughs> go ahead. Give me an intelligence roll. That's good. <laughs> <laughs> oh no ravens what ravens <laughs> what are ravens it was definitely a pigeon <laughs> white and gray <laughs> his brother Cadfell says you know there have been uh, numerous crows um, you know you don't usually find them in the city but there have been numerous ones Different locations, almost spying on people. Oh. He said, but if you're not sure, you're not sure. I mean, I, I can't say what it was. Hmm. What if it did have an orange beak? Well, then it would be a crow, definitely. Uh, <clears throat> I thought that was significant of something more interesting. I say to him. <laughs> Although some have more black beaks, he said. Again, we suspect these crows are, um, you know, th th there's something else with these crows. There's just too many of them in the city. Um, Gronk, like Gronk, he's, he's a well-traveled cleric and, and he enjoys like speaking with animals and charming animals wherever he goes because he finds that they can impart such great knowledge. Could he maybe do like a, like a, a an intelligence or a wisdom check just to see maybe whether he's come across this kind of bird before just from the description of it. Go ahead. Okay, he's going to try it here. It was definitely a clever bird. <coughs> <on purpose. laughs> it stared. Seven. That's less than everything I have. Yeah. Even a yes, dexterity pretty check. I'm sure this sounds like a What's it? Say that again. I'm sorry. Oh, no. I was just laughing. I mean, I could have even made a dexterity check on A that. dexterity check, yeah, because you have eight an eight dexterity. Yeah. Um, yes, and you have heard that some 
magic users and clerics, not mainline clerics or magic users, even use these crows as spies. Ooh, okay. That doesn't sound good. <laughs> oh, and uh, I also found the kidnappers. What? <laughs> what? Yes, yes, they hired me, or they're about to, and I must stay at this inn where they'll reach me. I don't know if the birds are connected, though. Hmm. Well, because, so so Gronk finds that interesting, too, because cause I think we were ta he remembers from our last session that there was some talk of a magical guild in the area, and that Sir Piero was, like, either talking with them or something, or doing something. The magicians. <clears throat> well, Brother Catfield says, he says, oh, no, Sir Piero has been, has been dead many years. Oh. Oh, uh, right, the author. Uh, sorry, the, the, uh, the, yeah, Ehrlich. Oh, the, I'm sorry, yeah, the, 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 yeah, the high cleric. Okay, right. He said, yes, he, you know, he would sometimes stick his nose into business, uh, business that he shouldn't. Um, so we, we don't know if they were at all involved with his disappearance. Okay. Hmm. Okay. Well, if we have to meet somebody at a tower tonight, how how far is this tower away from where we are now? Well, we'll have well, to leave. It's it's several five. miles. I'm thinking we probably want to get there first and set up sort of a advantageous uh, position. Absolutely, but not until after eleventh is. Oh, well, yeah, of course. Yes. I, I mean, of course. Well, and you'll have some time if there's anything that you'd like to purchase um, in town or you'd like to, you know, anything else you'd like to attempt while you're here. Hmm. Yes, I need to stock up on some of my crossbow bolts and arrows and... Okay, so um, Rascalfoot's going to go on a little shopping expedition. Anybody going with him or um, want to um, uh, need needs anything that uh, that they think they need or pick up anything they think they need? Got everything. Yeah, I think I'm good. <laughs> Maybe some. Uh, I better pick up some healing potions, and I think I used one on a stone what? guy. Yeah, good work, Rascalfoot. That was quick thinking on my part. Yeah, super smart. <laughs> well, I sh as I said, I oh. discovered the kidnappers. So um, you, you want to return back to the inn? I don't know. But we must plan. But I know this fellow. He's El Hameen. And he was banished from Queen Penelope's kingdom for being a slaver. And you met him here? Huh. Yes. Wow. I don't remember that, but maybe I was drinking too much. Far time I have to check his book on that. <laughs> I start paging through it. I don't remember hearing about an El Mahim. Different book. Although I know he used to sell insurance. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so Rascal Foot, you're able to pick up some. Um, you replace your healing potion and get enough um, crossbow bolts for yourself. Actually, I think you had a short bow now. Yeah, I have both. I I, oh, I don't want to. Okay. I don't want to give up death's whi whisper, but. Okay. <laughs> so, anybody else want to purchase anything? Find out about any information in the library? You hunt around at all? Well, maybe I'll I'll head to the library. I mm -hmm. didn't go the other day. Maybe I can. Find out some information. I like to go. And, 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 mm -hmm. and Gronk would, I mean, if we've got some time to kill, do we have time to kill before we leave or no? You have a time little to... time. Not Maybe not time to kill, but a little Don't time. Think, uh, Don't you think you mean time to pray? Oh, yeah, exactly. Right. Yeah, <laughs> time to pray. <laughs> <laughs> time to die. Yeah. <laughs> That's right. That's right. 
I'm so I get no so so yeah okay so Gronk's like yeah okay great pray but he's he, <laughs> he's know, so devout he, he he prayed at breakfast like bless this fork okay go and he's also going to head back to the library as well because he just he's always in, as a dwarf he's interested in stonework and masonry and he's just wondering like he's he's wondering if there's like a book on like historical lighthouses or something goofy like that so okay yeah, that's what he does or watchtowers is that what you mean what's a watchtower is a lighthouse so we're watch. going to a watchtower. Oh, watch yeah, well, watch it, it was it was the same. It was the same kind of thing. It was a watchtower over the sea. Oh, okay. Yeah, not necessarily a lighthouse, but um, yeah. Now, there's not specifically a book on um, lighthouses there. You okay. Can thank uh, you can thank Shannon Dice for that. Uh, but there are a lot of <laughs> um, books like on the. You know, there are arch- a few architectural books on you know historical architectural books on the city of King Swire. So they might have some information if there's something specific you're looking for. Okay. I'm not sure if there was yeah what Gronk was envisioning. I, I don't know. Maybe just yeah. I mean, I guess in his mind he's thinking like, oh, I'm always interested in how they're built or constructed, and you know where the entrances are and just things like that, just in case well, he gets her later. And well, what about if we look for information on the one we're going to? Maybe there's a floor plan or something, again, we could use yeah. for tactical advantages. Right. Yeah, what he said. What Rascal Foot said. Okay. One of East Egg, one of East Egg, one of East Egg. Uh, what you see is that there used to be a kind of a large, rounder building that was almost like, I don't want to say a fort, but, you know, if necessary... You could have like if there seemed like there was a ship coming in or an enemy ship that you could board up some men there or some soldiers for a while, and then there were some stairs up to what was a much taller tower, so that somebody you know could have a guard posted up there to look out over the sea. Approaching it, um, it gets a little desolate. There are a few trees, you know, as near as you can tell, but it's it's pretty far away from from town. So this was sort of you know. Out there, as um, what's the word I'm looking for? Um, kind of a line of first defense, you know, or even worse comes to worse, they could send word to town if there were invaders coming in. <laughs> I don't know, I don't know if that helps at all. It does, that's good. So, we know it's sort of remote. Yeah, that's why there's suspicion that it's used for illegal activity and things like that nowadays. Well, I think we should be, I think we should get there as soon as we've eaten mid-lunch and then. (laughs) Not to be confused with late lunch. Yeah. And well, we'll have to have late lunch there, but that's okay. We'll, we'll, I'll make sure I abscond enough food from the buffet table to, you know, keep me going. But I think we should get out there. As quick as possible, take a look around, get the lay of the land, and and then get set up for tonight, because we want to be prepared. Okay. All right. All right. So we're going to take you out to the lighthouse. Excellent. And Brother Cadfield provides you with um, some provisions. And he says, you know, please bring him back. And, you know, or even if you can at least get information and we can see how to progress from there. You know, we haven't let the the public know that that this has happened. Of course. And he says, you know, perhaps worse comes to worse friar time. If you're back, you might even be able to conduct Sunday services for us. We you look enough like him that maybe we could we could kind of disguise you a little bit. (laughs) <laughs> I, 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 I'm not, I'm not sure I'm fit for that. But I, wait, I could try. I'm, I'm much more at ease out, out in the adventuring world. He says, I, I know, I know, I've been there myself. 
traveled with some wonderful elves and a dwarf dwarven lady. It was wonderful. What time will never come again in my life. <laughs> Although as you leave, he seems to say to himself, unless there's a reboot. <laughs> <laughs> you're not sure you're not sure what he means by that. <laughs> I would play Cadville again. He was good. He was pretty good. Yeah, that in his younger, he had a different token in his younger days. <laughs> yes. Okay, Although so his name was spelled. Different. What's that again? His name was spelled different. Oh, maybe I misspelled it this time. I don't know. Well, you, you're spelling it the way that that the brother Cadfell series spelled it. Oh, that Ellis Peters. Originally, um, it was spelled wrong. Okay. Back, back when I started the <laughs> back when I started using the character. I, I yeah well, that was probably was, I think was it C A E D F E L or something, yes, something like that yeah yeah okay that, that was my mistake then having it I only noticed it because my spell checker didn't catch it or you know was, was flagging it going saying it was misspelled I'm like well how can that be misspelled hmm. how would it even know I, it's in my spell uh, it's in my dictionary okay <laughs> all all of the character names are in my dictionary so got it. All right, so you get out there, and along the way, you know, you pass through some rugged terrain. You leave the city. The buildings start to get more sparse, and there's a few farmhouses along the way. You know, and then you get to the point where there's uh, very, very few dwellings. You know, you suspect there might be a few um, woodsmen and hunters and things who live out this way. And you kind of around dusk, maybe a little, even a little bit after dusk, um, you get to where the lighthouse is. Or the, I should say the remains of the uh, the watchtower and the lighthouse there. So uh, I think everybody can see where you're at. Cool. Hmm. Interesting. <clears throat> Let's look at this tree then. Yeah. Let's. I'll. Uh start scoping some things out here. I'm going to uh -huh. check this over here. Yep. So there's some, you can see there's some wooden planks left around. There's a lot of rubble. I didn't draw every single thing. A tree has grown up in the intervening years since the stonework fell down. Um, there's not a lot of the stones left. There are a few heavy slabs, but you suspect they were, maybe somebody else carried them off, you know, years ago for other uses. So you're looking at the stone there with the hole in it? Yes. What that seems to be is the remains of the, the, the privy. Of course. Well, good. We've got that marked then. That's exactly why that's exactly why he went to that one first. <laughs> he, yeah, he didn't want to miss it. I just want uh, to make sure everyone knew what it was. It doesn't provide much privacy at this point. <laughs> oh, that's like a that's like a nightmare toilet for me. <laughs> you can kind of see so, that there may have been walls there at one point. So this, path, uh, this path leading up, is this the only entrance to the watchtower uh, that we can see? As far as you know, yes. It seems like everything else is pretty no. sheer. Yes. It drops off pretty pretty sheer. Okay. And um, the surrounding area, is it pretty flat, um, low-lying areas? I mean, is it basically we can see pretty much for miles from the top? Well, you can see out to sea for miles, yeah, and it's it's on a little, you know, there's like a little ridge that overlooks the sea there. So down here is the beach area where the waves are crashing in. Yep. And uh, so you're kind of on a ridge there. So you, either direction, you can see the lights from King Swoyer just starting to come on now in the um, in the distance behind you. Oh, okay. And so, do we think the kidnappers are bringing um, the kidnappee here? Well, this is where the meeting is supposed to occur. You're not sure if they're bringing the um, bringing him there or if they're just going to give you the demands. It's not a lot of hiding places. Um, Rascalfoot is going to take a look in that privy. Mm -hmm. Just 
you know, just to see if it's something other than what it appears to be. You know, like a secret entrance or a, a place for a hidden cache for weapons or I'm trying to see where people would hide things. I bet you it's going to be the ravens come visit us, airborne. And we're going to climb a tree and throw pine cones at them. Is this the area higher up? A little bit higher up, yes. So the, the path here, definitely there is an incline and it rises. Okay. Uh, Rascal Foot, what you see in there, there's a lot of rainwater collected, you know, because now it's open to the, um, you know, open to the sky. Right. It, there, there's no smell. It doesn't, no, you know, no one has used this in years, maybe centuries. Okay. So it's days as a privy are long past. Okay. Doesn't seem to be any secret entrances or any lower caves uh, th that I have drawn yet. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay, so it's getting to be dark. Well, how about how about other folks too, Albion and Tolan and everybody, Rock and Belvaro. Gronk, Gronk is small, and he likes the high ground, so he'd like to hang out up here. Mm-hmm. I'll sit beneath the tree. And... Well, that's, I'm wondering if maybe we have one person to sort of represent the group, and is there is there sort of enough cover in this area for us to sort of find hiding places? Fine, I'll, I'll do it. You'll do I'll it? Be... Well, that would make sense, too. You're serving as the spokesman for our time, is oh, that what you're saying? I thought that's what Clay, I thought that's what Clay, Claymore was asking. Yeah, that's well, what I was just asking myself. I'm not well, sure. Well, no, I was thinking Velvaro because he he was going to plant himself underneath the tree. But yeah, maybe it would be better if you acted as the spokesman and the rest of us kind of hid around this area, and then that way, you know, the kidnappers might just think, oh, they've sent someone from the temple to do the negotiations. Oh yes, yes. I, right? look, I look, I do look harmless. Yes, you are very and, and deceptive. Very, uh, ecclesiastical. Yes. So that's what I mean. And then, uh, and then if you know things go bad, or I'll we, take can, them out. yeah, or we can, we can, we can maybe, uh, you know, I, I don't know if they come up this road, then we can kind of leap out and stop them from leaving, right? Or if they try to run up here, we got Gronk there, and so is there enough sort of places around here that we could hide, John? Or um... you could try to find nooks and crannies. Okay. You know, there's like you can see, there's a lot of rocks and rubble and stuff. There's little places to park yourself. And I don't mind lowering myself into the privy. <laughs> Um, you don't know how deep it is or how deep the water is. Oh, I would just, I would just tie a rope and hang. If you want under, to. Hang under the, uh, the lip of the, the rim. Like I said, there doesn't seem to be any sewage in there and hasn't been. You're going to yeah. be a dangler? Really? A da yeah, I'll be a dangler. <laughs> okay, so Rascal Foot is hiding. Fire time is not. <laughs> um, I guess I'll hide. Why not? Okay. Actually, I'll, um, uh, I believe I've got invisibility, so I'll just oh, yeah. use that. So I'll just use that. <laughs> uh, for a time, maybe I should stand under the, stay under the tree. They, I know these men, after all. You could say I'm a hired sword for the church, which yeah, is what they believe me to true. be. Okay, it is still a bit before midnight. And you think you hear the beating of wings. <sighs> Tarnation. <clears throat> yeah, it's getting on 8 o'clock. Come on here. <laughs> Gronk, Gronk starts to think about prepare his charm animal and speak with animal spells. Oh, yeah. But not the growth of animals. He's going to say, he doesn't think that's be a good time for that. <laughs> And where's Albion at, too? Is he hiding, or is he just hanging out? Or did Terry have to take off for a minute? 
think he's still on call. He may have had to step out from it. I don't know. Do we have you, Terry? Not sure. Okay. Oh, we'll hide him too. Uh, who's who's most on the lookout? Gronk is up there at the watchtower. Yeah, Gronk's got pretty good dark vision, so he's gonna. Yeah. Okay, coming down from the north, kind of along the shore, you see some winged I, figures. I for me. Okay, and that gives you um, ten, ten foot. That gives you a bonus to armor class and... Armor class and saving throws. And saving throws, okay. And you think you see some humanoid creatures, but with wings. And bringing with them, or flying alongside them, a rather large... Another creature. I probably have a round or two till they get here. They're moving fast. <laughs> I just wait underneath the tree, sitting with my back to the trunk. <clears throat> that, 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 that's coming from the ocean side, or is that coming from along the shore? Kind of from the north, along the, you know the o they're fl it's flying along in along the ocean, but from the north, which would be to the left of where you are. Okay. So, just giving everybody a chance if you need to prepare for anything. Uh, oh, we have our protection from e evil cast. Okay. Uh, um, hold on, sorry. Uh, Gronk, Gronk, he's just not too sure about this, so he casts a general bless spell. It's in a 50-foot radius. It's going to last uh, 16 minutes. And it just gives everyone... Uh, who's within 50 feet of me, a plus one on attack rolls, morale checks, and saving throws against fear. Just in case these are scary creatures. Okay. They start to get closer, so we're going to have to roll for initiative in a minute. Uh, don't worry about doing that now. What you see is... <laughs> I'm pasting them in. They're probably too big. But lovely. Yes. <laughs> in a bad sort of way. Yeah. <laughs> Not in the way mom would approve. <laughs> no, this was the heavy metal album that you had to, to hide under the bed. Yeah. <laughs> you know, in, in, the, in the cupboard. <laughs> and with them, so there are eight of them. And they do not stay in, a, in order. They really start now to surround the you know they're, they're not dumb enough to cluster <laughs> they know our tactics so they spread themselves out and following them is a much larger creature strange like maybe about 15 20 feet tall like almost like a flying you know simian of some kind horrible eyebrows horrible eyebrows <laughs> And you hear them cry, give us the book, give us the book, have at them, sisters. Hmm. Well, that's not very friendly. Eight of them? Uh, and, and a bad guy. A big bad, big, big bad guy. Now they beat Gronk in, um... Initiative. Everyone beats Gronk in initiative. Okay. Are you around, Terry? I think I think Terry must have stepped out or something. He had to. He fell asleep. Terry. Terry to the white courtesy telephone. Terry. <laughs> I rolled terribly. <laughs> Okay, is everybody in? Yes. I am. Yes. I should be Okay. In. Yep, there I am. Where's my character sheet? There it is.
Okay, so they seem to be saying you know, they they want this that you know they after this book and let me put um, everybody in descending order. Oh, a lot of threes there. Looks like we got to have a three roll off between Fire Time, me and Velvaro. B to six, gentlemen. Whoa. Just a D six. Yep. Well, and add your dexterity. Oh, okay. What is my dexterity? That's not going to make them a six. It's just going to make them higher up on the three rank. If unless uh, unless you guys roll higher. I rolled a three. Three. Nah, I rolled a three. Okay. So it seems like they're going first. Yes. All right. So Tolan, you have the initiative here. Oh wow. Not sure how that happened. Mm-hmm. All right. Um, this is, yeah, they're not grouped up, huh? No. Uh, <laughs> well, <laughs> um, it would, I don't think this will count as an attack action. I cast fly on myself. Sure. Okay. So, so where are you I flying should, to? Um, I'm going to start angling to, um, get them in an angle. <laughs> okay. I suspect I, yep, for one of your, one of your high power rolls. Yes. Yeah. Speaking of which, I got to make sure all that stuff set up right. I think it is. Yep. So that's my turn. Okay. Rascal foot. Well, I've been, I've sort of been peeking over the edge of the privy. <laughs> and uh, when I see trouble coming, I'm going to leap out with my bow and arrow and try to shoot one of them. So I'm going to just try. I'm going to try and hit this one that's fairly close to me. Uh, so short bow. Seventeen. <clears throat> okay, so yeah, no, that kind of dings off of her. Oh, okay. But now she sees you <laughs> hiding in hiding in there. She says, "Oh, humans." I'm a halfling. <laughs> Doesn't help our kid. <laughs> well, I'm just saying. <laughs> Okay. Had tactical advantages. <laughs> so they now start to swoop in. So let's see who's around. Eh, it looks like two could go after Tolan here. I'm invisible. Oh, that's right. Oh, you're invisible and flying. Yes. Do you have, when you does invisibility work if you cast another spell? Well, I don't mean to. Yeah, I, I'm just, checking that now. Well, uh, I think it, it he just said, attacks. That's yeah. like you said, non cast Non combat. <laughs> yeah. Uh, items to spell ends if if the subject attacks any creature or casts any spell. So yeah, I'm I'm visible. Okay. Uh, that would have <laughs> changed if, my tactics. If you want to uh, if you want to do over on that Tolan, I'll let you. You know. Yeah, I, I didn't quite realize that. Of course, we could just run with it like Tolan forgot. Um, <laughs> they can't but, see me. They can't see me. So if you want to <laughs> just stay stay invisible, that's fine too. Um. Yeah, I'm gonna just stay invisible, and I'm gonna prep my uh, prep a magic missile. So I'm waiting for them to make the first move. Mm-hmm. Oh, Terry said he. Let's see what's oh. going on. Are you back, Terry? I am indeed. Okay, I had to plug uh, everything back in. That's fine because we got some, some good stuff going on. Did yeah, you see sorry. that comment? Uh, David from Chris? No, 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 no. I will. Uh, it says uh, if you cast fly first, you can then cast invisibility. Yeah, I've been sitting invisible for a while. I could have, yeah. uh, there was a way I could have pulled that all off, but I didn't. So. Okay. Are we in combat? Yes. We are. Trying to just decide who's going, who's going after what. Okay, so for this round, um, let's see. We've got two on Rascal Foot there. So let me do some rolls here and see what happens. And that big thing, it lands near you, Rascal Foot. It's kind of perched but still flapping. It's not, it's not, it doesn't trust the wall to support itself. But it is reaching out at you and clawing at you. 
<laughs> terrible breath. Terrible breath. So. He's a mint. I don't think they had mints on his plane. No. Oh, oh. He <laughs> reaches out and slashes at you with its claws. Yeah, uh, those are both hits. For two. <laughs> oh, wow. You know, you're a little slimy from being in the in all that mucky water there. <laughs> now, is that just... Is it 1d6 for each hit? Yeah, and I rolled horribly. Oh, okay. I was thinking it was 2d6 for each hit. Okay. How high up are we, John? Um... You mean off of the, um, how high up is the cliff face there? Yeah. How far do we have to fall? Uh, a, a, a good, a good bit, maybe 75 feet. Okay. I, I, w I wouldn't leap over the edge and in, in daring <laughs> do. <laughs> All right. And they are carrying something almost like a pitchfork of sorts and mm. stabs at rascal foot and misses. Slippery <laughs> one, she says. Okay, let's right. try at the, sh the other one goes after Albion there hey. and hits you and stabs at you. Ow. For seven. All right. Then the other one goes after Velvaro there. Let's see if she hits Velvaro. Looks like it. For eight. Oh, they're rolling high. <laughs> Friar time, yours hangs back a little bit. Mm -hmm. Seems to see um, your holy symbol, and I'm just making a mark there so that I remember that I did this. And you need to give me a save versus spell. She seems to wave her hands, and this orangish fire seems to come from them. And it doesn't necessarily burn you, but you know, some sort of magic has been released. Okay. So it would be a d20 roll, and you want to roll low. And you're, and you're a halfling, so you should have a pretty wait, good shot. I want to roll low or high. Low or you know, you, wait, no, you're right. You want to roll above your above your number, your number or above. I'm sorry, I'm saying. And I high. and I get a plus. So I, I get a plus because of my protection. Sure. Right. Sure. Twenty-two. I made it. Okay. For a moment, there's this blindness around you. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now. Let's see what happens with Portolan there. Now, they, you're invisible, right? Yeah. So they can't see you. Right. Hopefully. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> yep, and no, they can't see invisible. So it looks like uh, we're going to have those other ones go after Gronk and Friar Time, then they're, they're closest. So the one goes after Friar Time and does hit him with that strange pit pitchfork thing for five damage. Give us the book, she says. Give us the book. I'm not done with it yet. It's supposed to be exchange. Yeah, they, they, they don't have like, um, they, they can't put a reserve on it, their library. <laughs> <laughs> they probably charge your money like the Bethlehem library does. <laughs> okay, Gronk, the one similarly waves her hands and you see some like an orange fire or an orange light as magic's released um so you need to give me a save versus spells you want to roll high i got i said it right this time okay 18 okay no problem ah very resistant sisters just get them So the other two just come in and stab at you with their pitchfork things. The one hits for five points of damage. Okay. And she says, enough toying. Let, let the creature have his way. <laughs> and maybe he will next round. We'll see. Delvaro. All right. I'm going to go over to the big creature. And I say, oh, creature that does not know what it wants to be, leave that halfling be. And I lunge at him. Very poetic. Uh, 30 for 7 points of damage. Yeah, that'll do some. And another 11. And So a total of 18, 25 points of damage. 
and you <laughs> ate more. Wow. Yeah. Wait, you did 18 total, right? Yeah. The first was a lunge, but then the, the other two were, I made V-like um, slashes. <laughs> well, it's just... Okay, so you've done that. Ah, ah, it says, and you see it. Its jaws are kind of grinding a bit, like perhaps it's preparing for something. Or needs might a mouthpiece even, at night. Might, might, might even get a smell of like a brimstone or a sulfurous smell. Huh. All right, fire time. I am going to aim at this one here. Mm-hmm. She's the one that cast the spell at me, right? True. Was it, it was this one? Okay. Yep. I'm going to um, swing out with my whip and try to grapple her with it. Okay. No. That was a complete failure. <laughs> <laughs> complete okay, yep. Your, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Yeah, your Indiana Jones technique did, uh, did, didn't work this time. Sorry. <laughs> it's, 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 now, it's now stuck in the tree branch. <laughs> yep. Oops. Okay, so up to Gronk. Um, are any of them within thirty feet of me? Like flying around? Well, they're they're flying around the air, but yeah, at least one of them would be within thirty feet for you. Okay, so I cast spiritual hammer. Uh huh. Flying around. Um, <laughs> let's see here, and I don't think. Just forget if I have to. Oh yeah, I have to make a. I have to try to attack. Okay, so I try to attack one within thirty feet of me here. Uh, no, probably not. Roll eleven. No. Dag nabbit. I look fearsome though doing it. <laughs> probably more okay. fearsome than I did. Invisible and quiet Tolan. Yes, okay. Um, well, it looks like these two are um, near each other. True. Yep. So, um, mm, let's see. Do I do that or do I do this? Um, you know what? This got one in front of me. It's just going to get a bunch of magic missiles. Uh-huh. Because I don't want her to turn around and hit me when I'm... Yeah, uh, that's not that's not good enough. Thirteen. Yep, thirteen. <laughs> okay, now you're no longer invisible. You are correct. And she said they have a magic user. Oh, you wouldn't like me blind. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Albion got a three for initiative. Okay, yeah, we got to put him in. You want him to get a, a roll in now before my attack? Yeah. Yep. Go ahead. Um. Wait, wait. Al Albion's in. I got to put a three in for him and put him in the turn order here. I. What, what we? I'm not sure what you were saying. What you meant, Tolan? Um. Did I forfeit my entire round waiting for this, or um, was it enough that I can take another action? Um, there's something else you could no that that you you get an attack and a move. Oh, okay. So you did your spell, so you can move or try and do something other re, other other reasonable. Sure. Yeah. I'll go over here by uh, Albion. Mm hmm. Gets me far enough away from them. And where were? Uh, that, yeah, they were after they're down here. Okay. Okay. So Albion, your turn. Finally, sorry. All right, that's fine. That's my bad. Um, how close is this one for me? She's close because she tried to attack you. All right, I'm going to attack her back then. That's not the right macro. Doesn't look like it. Nope. There you go. Yeah, no, 16 misses. Don't forget they're flying and in the air. The 23 hits. 
18 doesn't. All right, so there's 23. Yep, so just some damage on that. Ah, four damage. Okay. <laughs> That's it. All right, fire time. So they are swarming around you. Perhaps this one has the book. He looks a cleric. Uh, I think I'll go after her next. Mm -hmm. Try the same thing. Really? Another one? Oh, sorry. Fumbled twice. I'm not doing so well with this whip. You need a little more style. All right, Vilvar, hey. show us your style. <laughs> Just whip it. Whip it good. Yeah, whip it good. Still standing, great ugly. Okay, then. Have at thee. Uh, 29. Yep. Does 19 hit? No. Okay. But 20 will. So 20 total will. of 18, 18 points. I am okay. hoping 20 does. <laughs> He's still standing. Yep. All right, so these ladies, um, so there's the one down here by Albion and Tolan. She again waves her hands and, uh, no, not again, she didn't try this before. And um, Tolan, you need to give me a d20 roll. Okay. Is this roll. a saving, is this a saving throw? Saving throw, yeah. And I don't, does the bless affect him, Gronk? Um, if he is within, oh, plus one attack. Shoot, I forget how far that goes. 50 feet, I think? Yeah. Well, but he would, won't, won't affect but he, his saving throw, I don't think. Um, only if it's versus fear. Okay. But but he is in my circle of uh, protection, so he should get a plus. Okay, he great. Gets, he gets plus, plus two on save. Plus two. Okay. So there are my numbers without the plus two. Yep. Now that works. And she backs off. Okay, so the one attacks you, Rascal Foot. Yes. Seventeen should hit. Right. Yes, unless she's well, no, yeah, yep. She's they're human size, so they're not yeah. like huge. Well, for seven matter. points of damage. Ouch! And, yes. And flies back a bit. Okay. And then let's see what we got. We got one. Or, she said, "We need two on this one. He's dangerous." And they come after Velvaro. Oh, I thought she was talking about me. No, okay. Thank well, you. Maybe. That's very sweet of you, I say, just to say. I knew that would feed Velvaro's ego. <laughs> <laughs> uh, one does stab at you for four. And they get out of the way. And the one near you says, this, this one, the, the darkness doesn't seem to be working on them. Oh, she misses. That against me. Out. What's that again? That was against me. Yes. But she missed, so it doesn't matter. Well, it looks like three on Gronk. Yowzers. He's a ladies' man. Eight. Thirteen. Oh, nobody hits him. He oh. slips and weaves out of the way. They do not necessarily get out of the way. The big guy here flies back just a little bit. And sends out a breath of fire. Um, so it looks like Velvaro, Rascalfoot, yeah, pretty much everybody here down on the plateau, everybody except Gronk, should do a saving throw versus Dragon Breath. Excellent. Right, and I, I know that Friar Time and Velvaro have some protection. This is, uh, yeah, fire. Oh, I did it. I just made it. <laughs> Let's save here. No, I did I, not. <laughs> I rolled a five and needed a five. I made every save I have. Whoop. Up in there. Okay. Hey, I saved. So 18. If you got half damage, you took nine. If you got quarter damage, you took four. Because I think you round down. <laughs> in most. 5e e you round down or 3e e you round down. So I'll just round down. So we get nine. Right. 
Sorry. Nine if you take it, if you had half damage, yes. If we save. If you made your save. Yeah. And Belvaro and Fire Time possibly could take quarter damage if they made their save. I did. Right. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I made, so I take a quarter? Yes, so that'd be four. Four, okay. And they, they, they even say, you're weak today, they holler at it. <laughs> These are not very nice to their friends. It's very bossy. Oh, good. I remember to get a picture of it. Although, Meetup hasn't been... Meetup's quirky. Sometimes it lets me post pictures. Sometimes... Uh, I don't know. But it, that that's not for now. So, who is up on the batting order here? Gronk is. And you've okay. had three attack you. So, they're now kind of in a range situation because they moved out of the way. Oh, are they beyond 30 feet? Not necessarily. Okay. Could, but but they're not um, like in close melee because they were getting out of the way, hoping the fire breath would do more than it did. Okay, I'm just gonna try my my spiritual hammer again. Uh, oh, and I forgot I get a plus one on this roll from my bless. Mm -hmm. No, so I get a roll of eleven. Okay, oh, I forgot about one. Plus one. Still would have missed. Yeah. Oh, got it. I just hear some spiritual hammer. If that doesn't sound like a metal song, nothing does. Yeah. <laughs> Next, we want to play our favorite song, spiritual hammer. Yeah, it sounds like a Judas Priest, Judas yeah. Priest song or something. It does. <laughs> Okay, so Rascal Foot. Well, I'm going to um, aid Velvaro, and I'm going to shoot an arrow right in this guy's face. Uh, short bow. I got to reset. Ah, no. Yep, kind of zings off there. He's not having a lot of luck tonight with his. You guys need some firepower here. Yeah. Tolan. So, um, I was not happy about that, and he seems to be the heavy hitter. Um, and they're definitely uh, interested in killing us, so this is survival. Um, and, and they've all grouped themselves into a nice little pocket. Oh, they have, haven't they? Oh, why do you give me too many choices? <laughs> uh, <laughs> I look over at the floating monstrosity. Um... And uh, say some words, and a green light comes out of my hand. All right. <laughs> um, tell me if he makes a save versus spells. Sure. So I'll roll it out in the open here. Seven. No. Oh. That was disintegrate. <laughs> oh. oh. <laughs> Goodbye. Wow. <laughs> what? Tolan! Oh, <laughs> <what? laughs> <What> the... <laughs> Curses, Tolan! <laughs> they, they got it. They got the beast, she said. Ah, oh, we'll have to do this the hard way. Like, actually negotiate, I yell. <laughs> <laughs> Give us the book. <laughs> this is an exchange. There is no exchange when you don't have something to give us for the you can't let book. them get the book. They'll control us. Oh, well... well. <laughs> All right, so Tolan had a good round. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Wait, you've had, had that in your bad round. Yeah. I was going to say you've had that in your back pocket and that's the first time you've used it? Second time. Yeah. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, I it's 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 one of those spells that um you don't want to just fling out there. Um <laughs> all the time because you know it's like oh this thing be gone Ye this 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 entity be gone there's like no chance of you know there's no coming back from that um you know we can't just resurrect him or you know raise him from the dead you know because oops we made a mistake so um, he was he was he was the guy we were supposed to talk to oh no <laughs> yeah yeah okay. right and uh, so, yeah, that's why I, I – and plus I also save it for 
things that we can't affect normally. Um, like, hey, we need to get rid of this 10 by 10 by 10 cube. Yeah. So, yeah, that's that's why it doesn't. That's why it doesn't come out. <laughs> well, pretty soon I'll have multiple six level spells, so maybe it will. <laughs> hmm. Okay, wow. so um, things have changed a little bit. <laughs> Hopefully, in your favor, <laughs> Albion. All right, Albion's gonna try and rush up here and help Gronk. He's going to attack this one on the pathway. Um, maybe that's better. Does the 21 hit? Yes, it does. Yeah. Six. And she, you strike at her, ah, foul mortal, she says. I hate this plane. <laughs> Fire time. Hmm. Well, they've made a nice little, um, they've, they've bunched into a nice little area. I think, um, I'm going to, I think I'm going to cast Blade Barrier on them. Basically, you know, show me where, trying to... Show me. Where it uh, oh yeah, I can to draw it. Hang on here. Take your time. Freehand. Have we killed any of these things? Other than the big guy? Uh, I don't think we've killed any of the little ones. No, we haven't. So yeah, I'm just going to create a ringed um, a ringed area um, through all of them. So they'll have to save versus death ray. Okay. And then, um, are you? Oh my! You can do one that big. Uh, twenty feet per caster level. Oh, per caster level. Okay. Yeah. So Time are you 16. doing it to? Um, <laughs> I, I'm doing it through them, basically not around them, through them. So if they if they make a save, they don't, they, they won't to take any them. damage. But I'm I'm definitely I'm not trying to contain them. I'm just trying to kill them. You probably can't contain them anyway because you'd have to do like a I don't know if that does a sphere or not. Oh, yeah. yeah, exactly. Okay, so I'm giving them a save versus death ray. Oh, they take forty five just give damage. Me a Oh, 45 points of damage. Okay. Do they take half if they, um, uh, they make uh, it? Not in this, in this case, because I'm trying to get it on them, they, they could um, avoid the wall and not take any damage if they make their save. Sure. So nine or better. No. No. <laughs> no. Yes. And Wait, yes. what? Did I? I was up to. Th oh no, I was up. That was the third one made it, right? No, only the fourth, fourth one. one. Made it. For, the fourth and one. The fourth one made it, and the fifth one. And the fifth, the fifth one, one made, made it. it. The other two. The other three. Three, excuse me. Yep. You see them fall. Boom. To the sand below, and nice. when they That's hit. This flame comes up all of a sudden, and they cool. disappear. <sighs> he got three of the sisters on that one. <laughs> <laughs> you just made yourself a target. I'm cool with that. You know, you have my high priest. Bring it. <clears throat> All right, Belvaro, I'm sorry, I was. 
Oh, okay. Um, for a second. Are any in reach of me? Probably if you ran up there by Albion, you could get the one who's um, still uh, still near him. Okay. Uh, what you, I'm could, you could make it over there. Okay. What I'm going to do is I'm going to use my whip to entangle her. So we may have need of a prisoner. You guys are kind of into whipping these ladies. <laughs> oh, I quit it. Is there a, is there a, I'm not, a I'm subtext? Not running this, I'm not running that kind of campaign. Yeah, I was going to say, is there some sort of subtext to this? <laughs> that's, that's, that's Patrick's Friday night campaign. <laughs> <laughs> Adults my, only. Wife, my wife won't let me play. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You need a note from your wife. You need ID. Yep. <laughs> Um, two points of damage because it was a crit. <laughs> All right. Oh, no. But I just want to, um, what do you call it, lasso her and uh, restrain oh, we've her. lassoed her. Okay. Mm -hmm. okay. Um, and then, are you well, you're not going to be able to probably, I don't know if you'll be able to do any other attacks that round unless you're going to attack at her. No, I just want to pull her to the, you know, the ground, you know, find, you know, while I, you know, have her restrained so we can keep a prisoner. <laughs> <laughs> I just tie her up. <laughs> Make her submissive. <laughs> Goodness gracious me. Right. <laughs> Don't talk okay. that way in front of Terry. <laughs> yeah, he, he, he's, he's, the, he's the young one here in the group. Yeah, yeah, his young years. <laughs> Okay, so the one rushes in at you, Friar Time, and grabs you. Does not do any attack on you, but grabs you. And um, is she, I'm not. I wonder if well, the. No, I guess it wouldn't. I was wondering if the uh, the my protection from evil would help. Yes. Give me any. It should. Bonus. It should. Pre it should prevent her from touching you. I think. Let me see. Yeah, like, I think you, you might be right. I think. I could be wrong. It's protection from mental Ward, attacks. Wards a creature from attacks by evil creatures. Oh, comma yeah. from mental control. Oh, well, so it the does mental say, control is separate. It does say it prevents bodily contact by summoned creatures, but I don't think they're summoned creatures. Oh, okay. No, but it does say attacks from um, evil creatures, so I think grabbing you would be qualifies as an attack. So she does grab at you, lifts you. You're only like an inch or two off the ground, and she drops you and screams like and looks at her hands like they're burning. Ah! Nice. Cool. Nice. And backs off a bit. And she says, that one is dangerous! Okay. He's a hot potato. The other one, other one comes in here at Velvaro, I think, and she's going to try and free her sister here <laughs> by slashing, not at you, Velvaro, but at the whip. What? Fiends? And I think with a, I think with a twenty, she probably would have cut the whip. Okay. So that cuts the whip. Um, it whips it good. <laughs> and the one who's now free says, "How dare you!" And she comes at you, Velvaro. <laughs> for sticking out. A... Three points of damage, unfortunately, but she stabs at you with the pitchfork. Six, though she critted, didn't she? Yes, she did. You're okay, an honest so man. <laughs> six points. Yep. Thank you. Oh, and then, time. in fact, I was just bragging to Shannon earlier this week. I said that I'm fortunate to have honest players. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but, but it's like, why would you cheat at pretend? Well, <laughs> there are people that do that, though. No, oh, yeah. Know. But it's like, it's like there's nothing to be gained. Even if you gain something, you, it's not real. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, only w one stabs at you for one point of damage, Kronk. Oh. 
I'm in sense. Okay. And they, again, give us the notebook. Give us the notebook. That's all we want. You can't give it to them. We don't know anything about a book, do we? We all look at Tolan. Uh, I, I got this. I got this little notebook from the other guy, but uh, that was a while ago. Yeah, I don't know. Oh, I mean, I mean, I mean, nobody at the temple gave us a book. No, but we know that that old Ehrlich was a, a big reader. Well, so, yeah. So if we knew that, wait, we were supposed to be here. Well, do we know why we were supposed to be here? We I were mean, supposed to get the. We were supposed to get. They were supposed to tell us what the ransom demands were. The book. So apparently they've told somebody that the ransom demands oh, okay. were the book, but, but didn't we didn't get that information. Yet. Well, I mean, okay. you know, we if didn't get that. That's what it is. Yeah. yeah, I guess that's what it is then. Who knows? Well, I mean, you know, the fact is, is that they, they know that they want this notebook, but they never told anybody that they wanted this notebook before we came up here and then they decided to attack us. So... They're not really the most either. They're either not the most efficient uh, uh, criminals, or uh, they are, um, uh, or there is another player in this that we don't know about. Yeah, maybe that's... maybe they attacked the kidnappers, got the information out that the the ransom is the book, and now they just thought they'd try to get us. Mm. Possible. Yeah. So it leads back to that third party. Yeah. We'll never know if they're all dead. Yes. So keep one alive. Okay. <laughs> Just one. And they seem to be infernal, so uh, yeah. At least half alive. Probably make an ability check on that. <laughs> Let's see. Um, so is, uh, yeah, go ahead. I was going to say, is it, is it Gronk's turn? It is. I think John stepped away or he muted his mic. No. One. Oh, oh there did I mute, am I here? I, okay. Yeah, I, know, here. I, did, I, I didn't think I muted myself. Sorry about that. I, somebody you sent that blade barrier token and I was saving it in the other window. You guys were deciding what to, we're trying to figure out what to do anyway. Okay. Gronk is in the forefront. So Gronk, Gronk wants to make sure like, his buddies are within, I, I keep forgetting this, but he wants to make sure they're within like a 50 foot radius of him. So if he needs to, he would move down this little slope closer, but uh -huh. his, his primary concern, and he doesn't want to, he doesn't want a movement to jeopardize this. He'd like to cast a whole person on one of these creatures that are hovering above us, or at least above the, it, so that if they stop flying and flapping, they would fall to the ground and not fall like away. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So not is, fall all the way down to the beach. Right. So <laughs> is there is there one of these creatures that that would work on? Like if he managed to hit them, they would like fall right. Probably, Probably even that one right right to your right, or the ones who are on the um, the walkway there. Okay. I, I would prefer to hit one of the ones that is hovering above and will fall all the way down, but that's just me. <laughs> no, I, I want to keep one. So, um, yeah, so Gronk, Gronk casts Hold Person Spell on one of them. Just one directly. Um, uh, I could try to cast at the group. Yeah. Well, there's a difference in saving throw, right? So. Yeah. yeah. I, I was just going to go for one <laughs> to give him the minus. Yeah, I think I'll just do one that's floating above... That would that would fall right to us that I could like grab or like restrain or something with the rope because I specifically asked last adventure for fifty <laughs> rope. I yes. specifically asked for that. And it smells like Aussie a good cheese. He's so, gonna use all fifty feet too. That's right. So, well, it was, it's an it's an artisanal road or uh, art, right. artisan <laughs> rope. I asked for yes. artisanal rope. Yes. <laughs> I'm a yeah. Yeah. Okay, so you're Okay, aiming for just one of them. Just one of them, and they have to make a save at minus two against spells. Fifteen. I think fifteen's going to make it. Even minus two? Darn. Well, that'd be a fifteen, yeah. Oh. Seventeen. They got seventeen and a fifteen. Oh. So that's going to make it first. Save versus spells. Doggone. Oh, okay. 
Sorry. Um, my spiritual. Oh wait, does casting another spell negate my spiritual hammer? Probably. It wasn't doing much anyway. No, I think the the whole point of spiritual hammer is that you can do other things while you have it. Uh, yeah, up and running. Yeah, she'll be able to attack with that. Yeah, I mean, you know, mind you, yeah, well, I this game really doesn't have like concentration spells, but I think if you had to do something else that you had to keep in mind, that that thing would be gone. Uh, let's actually see if I'm fine. Probably it here. a spell would be like that, right? Yes. Yeah, another spiritual hammer. I mean, unless it's like an autopilot or something, but I don't. Th I don't know. I would think you'd have to concentrate on that spell to keep it going, to keep directing let's let it. The, let, let's let the dice decide. Oh yeah, yes, but has the yes, dice. No, the spiritual hammer disappears. Yeah, yeah. makes okay. sense. Okay, you could you cast it again if you still have the spell slot? Mm, it wasn't doing much. Okay, <laughs> <laughs> thank you though. That's all right, rascal foot. I'm going to shoot an arrow. I'm gonna. I want to hit something here. No. <laughs> okay. He's he's looking down at this bowl, wondering if he'll snap it over his knee. Tolan. Um. Uh. So uh, one of them said, "Oh, the the halfling's dangerous." Uh. I agree. Yeah, she and shoot after prior time. <laughs> Yeah, I, I, I agree, you're not, and... You're not going to fireball me, are you? <laughs> no. No. I can take, uh, it. I can take it. All right, so uh, just to confirm my target first, um, this one. Uh-huh. So, uh, yeah, magic missile. Mm, nice. Uh, yeah, so 12, 19, 23 points of damage. All right. Wow. So she, you know, gets knocked back a bit, and you see, um, we, oh, you do a magic missile. Yep. Yeah. So, so yes, yeah, so that's no problem. Uh, ah, you know, she has, has all this damage, and we, we must end this, sister, she says. We must get the book from them. All right, I'll be <laughs> in. Albion is going to try and take a swipe at this one again. One, two, three. <laughs> no. That's terrible. Nope, sorry. Thank you for fanning the air for me, Grim Brim. I don't think you're actually sorry. <laughs> Grim Brim. <laughs> Your shoes don't match your outfit, Alvaro. <laughs> oh. Unkind thing to say. Oh, man. <laughs> Those kind of words hurt, man. <laughs> Them be fighting words. Them be tailoring words. You'll hear from my tailor. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Old person on this one. Okay. Minus two on save. The prior time. Old person on this one. Minus two okay, on her yep. save. Yep. No, I heard. Okay. Um, yeah, that's right. I was checking the spell. She is held. And she drops down and to the beast. 75 falls feet. to the ground here. <laughs> and you see that flames come up again. Yes! Nicely done, Friar. Okay. Yeah, There's that, your that book! Nice just... <laughs> <laughs> Velvaro. I will take this other one, then. The one I had tried to whip. Oh, I'm hot tonight. Shouldn't have said that. 17 the kid, hit. The kid is hot tonight. <laughs> yeah. The 17 hit. Is John there? That's a good question. 
What if John was one of us? No, <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm here. I'm here. Um, <laughs> sometimes on Thursdays, I have to direct sure. another group. Who, um, <laughs> another unruly bunch of <laughs> Yeah. Ones that are yeah, a but little at 9 o'clock, I can... Yeah, at 9 o'clock, I can turn you guys off. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's the difference. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so it looks like you hit twice for 15 damage. Sounds good. There was a, a, I don't know if you know the Cleveland show, but Cleveland has to bring somebody home and his children are up at like 630 in the morning and the other fellow says, why are they up? And he says, they're always up. <laughs> 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 you have kids, you understand. <laughs> So, okay, so they say we have to end this. We have to end this now. Surrender. That's Sur the only way we're going to end this is you surrender to us right now. Swarm on Gronk. <laughs> what? Then she beats <laughs> Gronk up. Really? You attack the weak him. The weak <gasps> They're holds stealing him over the ocean. And the Fools. others... They, they don't know dwarves can fly. <laughs> 24. Dwarf Gronk doesn't know dwarves can fly. Well, he, he got some Albion spell. Misses. Velvaro hits. Oh, no, you had the blessed spell. Does, the blessed spell doesn't... Now, you're in fire times area there. Yeah. So it looks so. like only to, Tolan is too. Yeah, but with 24, that's going to hit. So... The one stabs at you, Tolan. Yes. For four. And the three of them who were attacking take to the air, but not bunched up. And the one who's hovering says, give us the notebook. Give us the notebook. You can't let those magicians have it. Oh, well, if you had mentioned the magicians in the beginning of this conversation, you'd probably be four people, you know, you'd probably have four more people to your name. <laughs> <laughs> ah, you know nothing of us, and I'll return to the plane. And she shakes Gronk. Uh, I guess we're still in initiative order, if people want to do anything in, in that way. Gronk, you want to try anything? You're being held above the sand. You're not above the... Oh. the um, tower. So it's a long ways, long ways down. I don't know how Gronk is with heights. Uh, Gronk, Gronk could probably bounce. It's sand, so he <laughs> he doesn't like heights. He'd rather be on the sand or the ground. So yeah, underground. I'm, I'm yeah, underground would be best actually. So I think he's going to have to cast protection from evil. And. Mm -hmm. Um, do, 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 do. so I think here, let's see here. Do, 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 do. Uh, okay, I, I, this, I can evil. Uh, I can bring you back. <laughs> I was going to say, this is about when we find out that the falling damage rules in basic fantasy are exponential. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> so he's going to try it. He's going to cast a... Um, let's just see here if that's the best one. Um, oh, yeah, yeah. I can totally raise that. Do, do it, dude. Okay. I got gotcha. you. <laughs> it's just a first level spell, but protection from evil. Oh, okay. Uh, <laughs> let's see here. Well, that'll force her to drop you. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> or hold on. Uh, I should. Sorry, I should really. Um, or I'm actually thinking. Uh, dispel evil. Fifth level spell. The caster can choose to drive an evil creature back to its home plane. Because I remember her saying, "I hate this plane." She did. <laughs> I can choose yeah, to drive what? back to its plane by touch, requiring a successful attack roll, which I'm assuming I'm grabbed, so that'd be pretty easy. The creature can negate the effect with the save versus spells. So I'm going to try that. 
So she gets a save to negate the effect. Is that right? Uh, yes. Is that or no? okay? All right. So you're trying to oh. spell evil, and that would be a d20 roll for her. Come on, and guys, I do have the spells number. So she needs a 13 or better. I'm just telling you before the roll. All right. Total sunshine. <laughs> 20. Oh, sorry. Oh, 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 oh. Gonna crit. <laughs> Yeah, well, I, I rolled a bunch of ones earlier. So she says, cease this and shakes you a little bit more. All right, Rascal Foot. Um, well, I don't, I'm going to just keep pinging. Try. I'm going to shoot mm -hmm. that one. I don't want to hit somebody before the night's over. There you go. Two points <laughs> of damage. <laughs> ha ha. That's what you get for messing with us. She says, ha. And spit at you. She says, dwarves. Uh, oh. <laughs> we told her you weren't a human. There's no need for that kind of language, ma'am. <laughs> All right, Tolan. <sighs> um, well, uh, part of me wants to ask what book? <laughs> <laughs> we keep going on about this book, but what? Uh, um, on the other hand, I really don't want to see my, uh, my friend Gronk uh, fall to his death. Um, as much as uh, Friar Time was slav slavering over that. Um, <laughs> yeah. just do it, man. His, do it. to use his <laughs> resurrection spell. Um, never get to use it. You people never die. Or raise dead, rather. I think it's raise uh, dead. Raise dead, yes. Yep. And the one that stabbed me wandered off, right? She, she backed off into the distance. I think, is that the one I dropped? No, I think oh, this no, one. Oh, no, no, I think it was that, that one? one down. Yeah, you're right. It was that one. Yeah. Oh, choices, choices, choices. Um, I say toe, and I'm going to leave off the cliff, cliff next if you have something to help. <laughs> you know what? <laughs> uh, can I do that? Let me just check and see if that's not a self spell <laughs> touch. Yeah, I uh, as I see him like starting to run forward, I run up, chanting, you know, chanting something. Slap him on the back. He's lighter uh, <laughs> than he ever was, um, and he feels like he's got. Uh, he feels like he can fly. <laughs> I always feel like I could fly. I yell. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so I know where things are going, and Velvara's up in a little bit. Albion, you want to do anything? <laughs> Be right back. <laughs> that was Matt, I think, right? Yeah. No, I'm here. Oh. No. Oh, all right. Did, did Albion leave? I have myself muted. Oh, okay. I'm sorry. It, yeah, it's your turn. I'm going to shoot her with my hand crossbow. Okay. Don't forget your three attacks, so. Oh, plus nine of that. Okay, so 15. Does not hit. Yeah, it kind of zings off. Doesn't even hit her tail. You see they have those fork, fork tail things or whatever Ooh. they are. 20. And 18. 20 and 18? Yep, so the 20 hits. Oh, just the 20. Wow. Yeah, because they're, they're flying. They're, these, these are pretty tough crit critters. Or women. Two damage. All right. And that's all. Yep. And she, ah, she says, I don't like your hat either. <laughs> Fire to die. All right. Um, I it's think hard I will, get a good in insult when you've I, just been hit. I, I'll reach out and uh, hand Velvaro my, my whip since his got ripped. I've seen yep. better horns on a goat. <laughs> it's like I got two guys chase me, one casting a spell on me, the other's handing me a whip. <laughs> 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 
Uh, nice. It's up to you, Velvaro. This 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 could be epic. <laughs> or, Tonight's or word not. is avocado. <laughs> uh, you could do something else too, Friar Time. Oh yeah, yeah. That was that was not really my action. So my oh, action that's right. is that's... Go is going to be a uh, whole person on this one. Uh huh. So she gets a save there, thirteen <laughs> or better. <laughs> Boom. Oh. She falls to the sea, and you see all this steam come up. All right, Velvaro. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Do or die, so to speak. I say, Gronk, I have you. And I jump and fly. I'm going to try to tackle Gronk, like to rip her out of his her grasp. Okay, so give me an attack roll, I think, for that. Uh, and and because you're within you're close to me, my blessed spell, you get a plus one attack. <laughs> as you as you as you come into my sphere of influence. <laughs> I have a plus two is a th oh, I rolled a one. Uh thirteen altogether. <laughs> okay. In fact, I'm even trying to see what yeah, you'd probably be able to carry Gronk because it says you can't carry more than your maximum load. So I'm assuming you'd be able to pick up a dwarf. Yeah, I'm 16 um, strength. So, so you've kind of um, <laughs> grappled at Gronk but missed him. You kind of zipped by. <laughs> Zoom. But you look good doing it. <laughs> All right. So she has Gronk with, the, um, with both hands, so is not able to do much. But she says, she says, enough of this nonsense. I'll drop him. Have, hand us the book. We know that that's what you're here to exchange for, for your cleric. I dare you to drop him. <clears throat> Jeez, everybody wants Gronk pancakes. <laughs> Jeez. Anybody want to say anything to her for her demands? You set him down now or you die. That's it. We do not negotiate with terrorists. We do not <laughs> negotiate with evil creatures. Okay. She says enough of this, sisters. Maybe they don't even have the book. Too few of us now. Oh, so I have she... the book. Come and get it. I should hold. I should hold up the 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 book that I got from Skeletor. Um, <laughs> hey, you mean this book? <laughs> oh, this book. Oh. Ah. Uh, right, anybody doing anything? Um. So, uh, when I or can, saying I'm anything, gonna... I should say. Oh, saying anything. Oh, right. Yeah. No. Yeah. Wait, you guys. Oh, had... uh, right. Dwight, does Gronk get another attack? King, King, um, oh, go not yet. Well, not yet. It's, her, it's their round. Gotcha. Oh, so you have... She, so she calls door sisters. She drops Grunk. You see her reach out her hand as though reaching for a doorknob. <laughs> <laughs> I know that spell. And, <laughs> But you see them sight. all of a sudden. They're several hundred feet now back north of you. So pretty far away. And you kind of hear them conversing with each other. And Gronk is in midair. <laughs> so any and, and falling pretty quickly. <laughs> Please help me. I'm falling. <laughs> Gronk says, I regret nothing. Hang on, Death Hammer. Death Hammer, hang on. <laughs> okay, so anybody got anything here? Um, uh, what far is, away far is, in, is in the vicinity? What what's what's below what's below him? Is there anything like standing up around him? Uh sand and the cliff face. Well, I can try it. Um, I fling web underneath him. Uh, there, okay. It needs multiple points to, to stick to, but well, maybe yeah, the yeah, three of these masses must be anchored to two or more solid and diametrically opposed points. Um, Anchorage to Alvaro. <laughs> <laughs> All right, here we go. Let's 
And uh, Velvaro, are you doing anything, Velvaro? <laughs> oh, as soon as I can, I'm going to sweep down. I'm going to fly down and grab him if I can. Okay, give, give me a, another, like an attack roll as though you're grabbing him. Uh, 21, 23 with his plus two. Okay, so you grab him. Now he is falling, so he has quite a bit of momentum. <laughs> and you both land in this sticky mass of web that Tolan had <laughs> uh, put down there. So you guys are kind of all gummed up there down at the beach. I say to Gronk, the wizard did this on purpose. <laughs> <laughs> well, and it is now pitch black and midnight. And you see appear above the ocean a large face, but you can see through it. It's rather smoky. You know, it's perhaps some kind of projection. That one again. And he, he says, oh, you've come. And you've chased off those, those foul things, too. Wonderful, wonderful. Do we, do we know Osnar? I know the token. Didn't we see him you had one? encountered a gentleman rather like him. Um, who was accosting your uh, very generous friend up north. Yes. Now, Velvar, I don't know how much you would remember. Um, maybe you would, yeah. They were looking for, he, he was with a group that was looking for a certain bard, although he had his own, seemed to have his own purposes. He wasn't interested in the bard like those bounty hunters were. Right, I was, I was there for that. Yeah, it was my first session yeah. back as That's Velvar. Right. <laughs> so, so he said, does anybody want to say anything to him? Can you get us out of this web? <laughs> <laughs> he says, well, you know, I'm not really here, but I might have some information on, on, on your cleric. Uh, yes, that's what we're here for. Um, well, you know, we, we have him you know, for protection. He kind of wandered off and you know how dangerous the city is and all sorts of, um, you can imagine the devils that would want him. Uh, we, we'd love to return to you, but it has to be worth something for our time, wouldn't you say? <laughs> Nobody would say? <laughs> well, we were well, supposed to do a ransom exchange. Uh, I wouldn't say that, but um, name your terms. He said, oh, well, it, it, not terms. We, we just we would like to return him to you. Um, but we, we're very interested in the lost notebook of the polymath. Uh, there's there's some word that it may still even be in the city. Hmm. You know, certainly if you were to re return that to us and bring it out here and uh, and you'd be able to contact us from out here, you know, we, we might be able to, to help re return your cleric to you. Hmm. I, I, I guess. So he says, you know, perhaps within in the next few days, you'd even be able to, to obtain this for us. And Grok says, like, well, like, you're not here. Like, where where would someone even, even if they had this book, where would they bring it? How would, you know? Oh, bring it here and concentrate. Uh, we, ourselves are one of the re our representatives. We'll, we'll, we'll help you out. Mm -hmm. And how do we know we can trust you? We, 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 I, it's not a matter of that. We just want to return your cleric to you and perhaps get a little something in the process. <laughs> Somebody might, very much like you were hostile to us last. Oh, that was different business. Totally different business. Yeah, and, and you know how it is with those, those bounty hunters. Hired help. You, you, you can't trust anybody these days. <laughs> They're very, very hard. Very, very hard to get good help. Hmm. So did he give us an informa enough information on the notebook that we know how to find it? Well, he said, again, it, it, we, we hear that it's in the city and there's you know, different dealers of in, in antiquities who, who may be able to bring it to you, uh, you know, help, help you obtain it. Although some are very quiet about it. You know, if, they, if they had a, an object like this, they, they might keep it very quiet, only certain very select buyers. What is the name of the book? Well, it's the lost notebook. There's other notebooks that are extant, but this this 
This is the the one that uh, that is has been missing. The lost book of the polymath. Yes. Yeah. Is there, um, and yeah. he says he says you're resourceful. I'm I'm sure you can you can figure it out. How do we know our our friend is well Oops, and alive? No, no, let's ask let you ask that question. And he does uh, he says, Oh well we're here and you see he but you know he's he's a bit groggy, you know, it was a um bit, bit you know a bit rough time. We really saved him from a bad spot. And he shows you a, an image very, very quickly, and you can see um Rather elderly cleric, <laughs> definitely a halfling. I think that's where we're going to end it for tonight. And he okay. says, "He says, just just be quick about it," and disappears. <sighs> so that's where okay. we are. Great, we, we have something to report. <laughs> right, you know what he's after. Okay. All right, so you've made progress. Uh, you'd notice that there maybe are several factions now after this notebook, or at least a certain faction that doesn't want the, um, the other people to get the notebook. And a magic user who you've encountered before uh, may have your cleric there for your time. Mm. <laughs> He's all rather polite about it. Even his, <laughs> his intentions aren't yeah. that good. That won't make it any harder for me to kill him, though. <laughs> should the need arise? Should the, should the need arise? If it doesn't, well, it's okay. All right. That's so great. thanks very much. Thanks very much for playing. I hope it was okay, the session. A lot of fun. Good. Thanks, oh. John. Great. Thanks, John. Thanks, John. And I'll are be we, here next week. So. Yeah, I don't know what next week looks like for people. Yeah, good for me. Uh, I think everything's good. So far, so good. Oh, good. No, I've got another. No, yeah, no, I'm good. Oh, good. good. I thought there was another hockey game. Priorities. Yeah, I know. I know. <laughs> yeah, okay, David. I think David didn't. I don't know if he spoke. Yeah, I'm good. We're probably good. Okay, so we'll try it again next week and pick it up from here. Perfect. Okay, okay. Thanks, guys. Sounds All good. right. And, you know, just keep hold of your dwarves for this week, please. <laughs> <laughs> don't, don't let them fall. <laughs> See you guys next week. All right. Take care, See gentlemen. Bye-bye. See you Saturday, Dave. Bye. Yeah. See you Saturday. Have a good Bye night. Guys. Good night.